The best way is dirty hair. I never learned how to tie bows when I was a kid. I do it the wrong way. Hello everyone, it's Linda and today we are doing a headscarf video. I have been asked frequently about this ever since last year, I think, when I started to wear these headscarves. There are some questions that are asked more often Especially, how do you keep them on your head? What's the perfect size? Where do you get them? And I'm gonna answer all those questions today. First of all, my headscarves are from Sammy. And I think that this is the perfect size. These are, they, they're quite big actually, but they're very, very thin. So it's easy to fold them in the size that you want. I have actually never watched a video on how to do this. So there are probably easier ways of doing this. I have no idea. When I got my first scarf, I liked to wear it in a smaller little bow. But right now I am more into these big fluffy ones and I'm going to show you both ways today. Let's start with first taking this down. To keep a headscarf on your head, the best way is to have dirty hair, actually. When your hair is very soft and when you have just washed it, it is so hard to keep it on your head because it just keeps slipping off. One product that I really like to use before is the Dry Spray Texture and Volume from Beyond Axian. This is a Swedish brand, but this really, really gives your hair a nice grip. It makes it easier to style. So make sure that the hair is either a little dirty or if you have some kind of product in it that really, really makes the scarf stick. The next thing is that you have to put it up in a bun. This is actually the perfect updo for me because I have extensions and when I keep my hair up, you can see the extensions from the side. So the scarf actually uh, hides the extensions, which is really convenient for me. Who likes to have my hair up? So basically I just put it up in a pretty messy bun. What I do, I fold it and also I don't want this tag to be on the top of my head. So I fold it in half to a little triangle like this. And then I'm starting to fold it. I'm basically rolling it. Make sure these ends are the same length. And then I place it on the back of my head like this and just tie. And the thing is now that I cannot tie proper bows, bows. This is my way of doing it. So I am tying it in the front, pretty far in the front. Sometimes the fabric will turn around and but I want the, the nice color in the front. So sometimes you just, you, you need a comb or something to fix this. To make it fluffy, I usually just fold it out like this. And then you have this little longer end here that I usually just fold in and I attach it with a bobby pin underneath the knot like that so it won't show now it will stick pretty good on my head but otherwise i just take bobby pins one on each side to keep it in place and i also use one in the back here or two to make it across makes them stay like that and then i usually also bring my little baby hair in the front. This is how I do the big bow, my favorite. And then for the smaller one. Instead of starting in the back, I'm starting in the front. And then I tie it around my the back of my head and just go around. And here you can either tie like a very, a tiny little knot or you can do a little bow. I never learned how to tie bows when I was a kid. I do it the wrong way. 
So it's pretty much the same thing, but you tie it in the front instead of the back. And that is pretty much it. And I love how cute it looks, how you can mix and match it with different styles and different colors. And it is so easy to do, even on shorter hair. For me, the key things are to have a little bit dirty hair or if you have this texture spray that really makes the headscarf stick. That's it. I hope that you liked it and that I'll see you again in the next video. Bye guys.